math friends, thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Shannon from sas4teachers.org. In this tutorial video, we're going to be showing you how to do partial products with the area model. As we go through this video in your classroom, we'd like you to practice some of the problems that we're doing together. This video is really great for teachers to use as a flipped classroom video where students can learn about the concept before they come and see you, or you're welcome to use it as a lesson launch. Our problem is 27 times 23. We're gonna use something called partial products, but we're gonna put it into an area model to help us understand what we're doing in multiplication. When we look at the number 27, and then we have the number 23, we're gonna really use the value of the numbers to think about how to multiply. So if we looked at really the number 27, it's made up of 20 and seven. If we look at the number 23, it's made up of 20 and three. The reason why we're gonna use an area box for this is gonna help us to use some friendly multiplication facts that we might know. So I'm going to make an area box and I'm going to know that my tens are gonna be a little bit larger than my ones. So I'm gonna make this spot on here easily. I know that I have tens and ones. If I had to add a hundred here, I could add another column on, but this is really, the box is going to be two digits by two digits. So I'm going to put in here. I like to take my first number and decompose it at the top. So I'm gonna put my 20 and seven here at the top. And the reason I'm doing that is because it breaks apart into this part, 20 and seven. Now, you don't have to do it the way I do it. I like to do this this way because it helps students understand when we connect this in our later video to the traditional, but I'm going to decompose this number, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm gonna do my three and the 20. You certainly could answer the same problem with decomposing this and putting 20 at the top and three at the bottom. It's totally up to you how you wanna do it. But for this example, because it's gonna to connect to the example we do with the traditional, I'm gonna decompose it this way. It still equals 20 and three. So I'm gonna put my three here and my 20 here. We're gonna start off kind of looking at these different parts. So we're gonna say, what is three groups of 20? I know that three groups of 20 is 60. If I looked at here, this is three groups of seven. I know that three groups of seven is 21. Now we're gonna to go to the second part of the area box because we have to do all the parts of the number to multiply this out. So we know that 20 times 20 is 400. Now, if we do 20 times seven, we know that is 140. We can have this equal, some people like to add it going across. I like to do it across because it will relate to the traditional problem that we'll be doing in another video, but you can also add them going down as well. And so I'm going to go across and I'm going to equal this to 81. And then I'm going to go across here and I know that, that equals 540. When I go ahead and add this all together, I know that I have 621. So the answer of 27 times 23 is 621. Using the area model can help you as a student to understand how to break apart this because when you're thinking of multiplying larger numbers, it's sometimes overwhelming. And so we really like to start when you do even one digit times two digits, you can do two digits times two digits, three digits times two and so on with the area box. The area box with partial products will help you to just do partial products by itself and then we'll connect it into the traditional method. So we're decomposing these together. In your classroom, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to try out doing some of these problems with just starting off with a two digit by a two digit practice doing that to see if you get that um, answer correct in the problem that you're doing. We hope that you found our video tutorial helpful on how to bring partial products with the area model into your classroom for students to understand whether you're using this as a launch or as a reverse um, classroom concept to kind of help students to learn about this before they come to you. Thanks so much for joining us. We have lots of different tutorial videos on our website at sis4teachers.org.